everyone, this is Holly Knutson. I'm a cancer coach from Utah. And today I want to talk about a condition called Marcons. The acronym Marcons stands for Multiple Antibiotic Resistant Coagulase Negative Staph. And you can see why it's referred to by its acronym, because it's so hard to say. In layman's terms, this means a staph infection in the nasal cavity that's resistant to antibiotics. What is melanocyte stimulating hormone or MSH? MSH is a regulatory hormone secreted by the pituitary gland that modulates the immune system, controls nerve function, is anti-inflammatory, and is involved in the formation of melanin and pigmentation in the skin. MSH controls production of endorphins and melatonin, which are responsible for restful sleep and pain perception. MSH also controls cytokine release, and this is why inflammatory effects are multiplied when MSH is low. Low levels lead to chronic pain and fatigue. MSH also controls ADH, or antidiuretic hormone, so people with low MSH have difficulty holding their urine and staying hydrated. Low levels of MSH set the stage for Marcon's to develop. High levels prevent bacterial colonization by protecting the mucous membranes in the nose. MSH deficiency is caused by the excessive production of inflammatory cytokines as a result of exposure to biotoxins. Marcon's is found deep within the nasal cavities of 80% of people with low MSH. It doesn't start out as an infection, however, but rather a commensal colonization later becoming an infection as the bloodstream is flooded with inflammatory chemicals. Antibiotics and steroids provide the perfect breeding ground for bacteria to colonize because they promote yeast overgrowth in the sinuses. Ditch the sugar and follow a yeast detox protocol to prevent yeast overgrowth and the resulting infections. What are the symptoms of Marcon's? Mood swings, leaky gut or intestinal permeability, insomnia, restless sleep and nightmares, hormone imbalances, low melatonin and serotonin, chronic fatigue, low ADH or antidiuretic hormone, body aches, and irritability. Here's a summary of how Marcon's unfolds. Existing inflammatory conditions such as mold exposure, biotoxin illness, and Lyme disease lead to low levels of MSH. Marcon's then colonizes in the nasal passages leading to a staph infection. Inflammation is activated and biofilms and biotoxins are produced. Symptoms appear, MSH decreases, and inflammation increases. The cycle continues as adrenal fatigue worsens and immunity weakens. HLA-D are genetic testing. Genetic testing can detect if an immune defect is present that prevents the excretion of mold, Lyme, and other bacterial toxins. This genetic susceptibility is a risk factor for MSH deficiency. Diagnosis requires a deep nasal swab that is cultured for a specific amount of time. And this is because Marcon's grows slowly. This can be done by your doctor or by yourself at home. If your results are positive, you'll be given information about which antibiotics will be the most effective. Here are some strategies you can implement 
to reduce your risk of getting Marcons. Make sure your environment is not moldy. Take a binder to mop up existing mold toxins. Beg nasal spray eradicates the colonization of biofilms forming in the nasal passages. Be aware that benzodiazepine drugs can cause low MSH. Exlear nasal spray is effective at breaking up biofilms that bacteria encase themselves in. And here are some natural remedies. Pico silver used as a nasal spray boosts immunity and protects against infections. Magnesium helps to dissolve biofilms which are made partly of yeast and calcium. Magnesium helps to dissolve biofilms which are made partly of yeast and calcium. Coptis is a plant-based antimicrobial that is effective at fighting antibiotic-resistant bacteria. Berberine, a compound in Coptis, is what gives the plant its yellow hue. In summary, Marcon's is a serious condition that can be difficult to treat. Biotoxin illness, cancer, and other inflammatory illnesses can lower MSH, allowing staff to colonize the nasal passages. Protect yourself from staph infections by optimizing your immune function by leading a healthy lifestyle. Thanks so much for watching and please leave your comments and questions below this video.